The world is a wonderful, yet sometimes strange place. There are many places that we are advised against visiting for one reason or another. But some places are strictly forbidden, whether that's for our own personal safety or to protect deeply hidden secrets that would shock the world if they were exposed. Number 5 White Gentlemen's Club is the most exclusive club to exist in the UK and is one of the most exclusive in the world, coming second only to Bohemian Grove. Located at 37 and 38 St. James Street, Whitechapel, London, the club was established in 1693 by an Italian immigrant Francesco Bianco. Bianco wanted the club to sound more British and translated his surname to English, thus giving the name Whites. The club's origins are innocent enough starting as a male-only hot chocolate house. However, as membership grew, the desires of the members became clearer. The members no longer wanted to meet in an exclusive place to drink hot chocolate and chat, and soon after opening its doors, the White's Gentlemen's Club became the go-to place for drinking and gambling. As the club grew in popularity, it became harder and harder to become a member. In current times, those wanting to be a member must be vouched for by 35 current members, as well as paying an 850 euro yearly fee. These parameters are only for those lucky enough to make it off the years-long waiting list and into the selection process. Many journalists and everyday citizens have tried to join the club, however they've been denied. The goings-on inside the exclusive club is mostly kept a secret. However, according to documents, one bet in the 18th century saw two men betting on whether one of them could survive underwater for 12 hours. Of course, the man attempting to live underwater failed and the bet was lost. That wasn't the only frivolous bet made at the gentlemen's club. In the early 19th century, Lord Alvinley put 3,000 euros, 200,000 in today's money, into a raindrop race. This is just one example of the amount of money and power that the members had at their disposal. Male members of the royal family and prominent conservative politicians are rumored to be members of this exclusive club, including ex-Prime Minister David Cameron. These rumors have sparked numerous conspiracy theories and controversies as to what really goes on behind closed doors. Conspiracy theorists believe that the prominent figures use the club to plan and discuss current world events. Very few women have been granted entry into the Forbidden Club. An exception was made for Queen Elizabeth II, but outside of that, applications from women are rejected. Those wanting to get a peek into this Forbidden Club will need to join a years-long waiting list and rub shoulders with people such as Prince William to get the recommendation needed. Number 4 For those wanting to visit China and explore its rich cultural and political history, there are thousands of museums and sites open to tourists. However, there is one museum that is strictly off-limits to foreigners. No amount of money or persuasive language will get you into this museum, and the only way to get inside is to be a Chinese national. The Forbidden Museum is also known as the Jiangsu National Security Education Museum. It sits just north of Shanghai and is a popular destination for Chinese nationals. This mysterious museum is a spy museum hence why it's strictly off-limits for outsiders. Those who have visited the museum report that technologies from both China and the West are on display, such as weapons disguised as everyday objects and cutting-edge surveillance devices. The LA Times reported that visitors are also greeted with posters urging them to join the fight against Western spies and subtly hinting at how they can become spies themselves. This is evidenced by the numerous posters dotted throughout the museum that read National Report A Spy Hotline, complete with a number for citizens to call and what signs to look out for that may indicate that someone is a spy from the West.
The forbidden nature of this museum only makes it more appealing for tourists who try desperately to get in. However, without evidence of being a Chinese national, there is no way to get inside. Few pictures of the museum's exterior exist, with even fewer of what lays inside. Who knows what secrets and documents they could be hiding? Or perhaps it's simply a mundane museum and China is wanting to drum up more tourism in the area. Number 3 North Korea has been dominating headlines and has been a hot topic of conversation over the past decade. Whether journalists are discussing Kim Jong-un's tweets or dissecting statements from the hermit state, North Korea has nestled their way into the current geopolitical landscape of the 21st century. North Korea, also known as the hermit state as we mentioned a moment ago, is known to be one of the hardest countries to get into, and even with a tourist visa, most parts of the country are strictly off-limits to foreigners. There is a hidden office where the North Korean elites do their bidding and maintain their control over the system. Commoners and even those in high society are forbidden from entering the infamous Room 39. Only those such as Kim Jong-un and his sister Kim Yo-jong are allowed inside. Over the years, North Korean defectors have leaked information about Room 39 with the media dubbing it as the most mysterious room on earth. According to these defectors, the North Korean government sells illegal substances as well as creating counterfeit money to keep the system running. Sadly, the money generated from these ventures does not go back into the hands of the North Korean people and is instead used by the Kim family to fund their lavish lifestyles of expensive food and drink. One defector told the Sun newspaper Room 39 is an organization to get foreign currency for the leader. In North Korea, we called it the Revolutionary Fund. Journalists and diplomats alike have attempted to gain entry into Room 39 to see what really happens behind closed doors. Many believe that much more nefarious deeds happen in the room and that the stories fed to the media omit details to downplay Room 39's activities. One thing is for sure. While North Korea is still under the rule of the Kim family, outsiders will be forbidden from entering Room 39. Number 2 Hidden deep within the Vatican City are the Vatican secret archives. These archives stretch for over 53 miles and have 35,000 volumes. Who knows what answers and secrets these documents hold, containing information from the past 12 centuries. Despite petitions and pleas, people have been denied access to the Vatican's secret archives, giving way to conspiracy theories about what they could possibly be hiding. Journalists and academics alike have been trying for decades to get access to the forbidden archives. However, so far they have been unsuccessful. For a long time, the Vatican denied that they existed. However, in more recent years, they confirmed that they do indeed have a secret archive containing some of the world's most valuable documents and artifacts. Academics and scholars are only allowed to access the archive once they turn 75 and have been suitably vetted by the Catholic Church. These scholars have confirmed the existence of a letter from Mary, Queen of Scots, and the excommunication letter of Martin Luther. Despite their transparency, there are still some sections that are strictly off limits, even to the most seasoned scholars and academics. The public has been calling for the Catholic Church to be more open and transparent about the contents of the archives. However, this is yet to happen. Normal people like you and I are still forbidden from entering the Vatican's secret archives, and it looks like it may remain that way. Perhaps one day, the Vatican will open up its doors and we will be able to see what they've been hiding from us for centuries. Number 1 Pripyat, once an unassuming town in the Ukraine, is now synonymous with the world's second deadliest nuclear incident, Chernobyl. Chernobyl is perhaps the most famous nuclear incident, 
However, for those who are unfamiliar with what happened on that fateful day in 1986, here's a quick rundown. On April 26, 1986, reactor number 4 at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant ruptured following a safety test that went wrong. Following the reactor core rupturing, steam and radioactive material flew out into the water, air and surrounding areas, causing fires and major damage. The Soviet government downplayed the severity of the incident, and residents were not evacuated until hours later. First responding crews had no idea what they were dealing with and were ill-equipped to deal with such an incident. Crews of people were brought in from around the Soviet Union to help clean up and these brave men and women were able to clean up the site to the best of their ability. The town was finally evacuated and residents took with them a few small suitcases as they believed they would be returning in a matter of days. Since 1986, very few people have been allowed to resettle in the area due to the radioactive danger. Since that fateful day, the Soviet Union and Ukrainian government have tried their best to contain the nuclear power plant and prevent any further damage. Those who enjoy the darker side of tourism can take tours and get close to the exclusion zone at Chernobyl. Some daredevil tourists have even gone past the exclusion zone despite multiple warnings from their tour guides and official warnings from the Ukrainian government. There is, however, one place in Chernobyl where all humans are strictly prohibited from visiting, and that place is room 2172. Room 2172 is located southeast of reactor number 4 and contains what is known as the elephant's foot. The elephant's foot is a large mass made up of silicon dioxide, uranium, titanium, zirconium, magnesium, control rods, and nuclear fuel and materials from the building and is so dangerous that just looking at it for more than 5 minutes would be fatal. The elephant's foot has been photographed once by cleanup crews who use strategically placed mirrors to get the perfect photo, and people are strictly forbidden from even entering room 2172. Over the years, the radioactive material in elephant's foot has begun to decay. However, the Ukrainian government still upholds the message that entrance to the room is prohibited. The exclusion zone and Chernobyl is slowly opening up. However, tourists are advised to proceed with caution and to keep Geiger counters with them at all times. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But I've been Ty Knotts and I'll catch you guys in the next video.